What is up, guys? I uh, want to talk to you today about all my uh, all of my carry knives, EDC knives. All right. I uh, I always carry. Oh, little health update. I did my PDT test on my eye, uh, or PDT surgery. Uh, anyway, it went great. I go back the first part of May to uh, see if they got all the cancer out of my left eye. Just a little health update. Uh, it all went well. They're, they're hopeful they got all the cancer out of my left eye. Uh, I'll know for sure the first part of May. Okay, we're not here to talk about that today. So. Uh, if you've watched any of, any of my videos, you know that I always carry a Leatherman, right? One of these three, you know, Leatherman CX, Leatherman Wave Plus, or my, uh, if I'm fishing that day, it's always the wingman, right? So those are the three multi-tools. One of those three is what I carry every day. So if I'm going to carry a fixed blade or another folding knife, I make sure that it's got a better, a bigger blade than any of my Leathermans, right? It needs to be bigger than that, right? So the other day, I bought this uh, Swiss Tech War Dig, and I just bought it to go with the fixed blade, the Stellhern, or whatever the heck they call it, uh, however you pronounce it. But uh, I bought I bought this to be as you know as a set with this, but when you look at both of those blades, they're they're the same. I mean, I mean the cutting edge on that is almost identical. So, what I'm getting at is, if I'm carrying a Leatherman, why would I want to carry a, a folded knife that is the same? You know, it has the same, basically exact same blade on it. So, I always want a bigger knife than what any of my Leathermans will have on it. Okay, a, a bigger blade. So. These are my folding knives. These are my fixed blade knives. This is the SE3. Everybody has saw an SE3, right? Well, SE3, in my opinion, is the perfect size fixed blade, okay? So everything on this table that I have purchased is, SE3 is a three inch blade, right? Three and a half, something to that effect. So three, between three and four inch blade is what I always look for in an EDC knife, right? So all these blades are comparative to, to my SE3. Now, this one is the SE4, the SE4 HM, and uh, that is as big as I will EDC carry, all right? And... The reason why I'll even EDC all these knives is because of the tech clips, right? I mean, tech clips are great. They, they make your, they, they let your knife ride high enough on your body that, you know, if you don't have your shirt tucked in or you're wearing a vest or if you're wearing a flannel shirt over your, over your, you know, your shirt, your shirt will hang down past it, right? So it covers it up. So it's more concealed. Okay. So so i have always got a leatherman in my right pocket clipped you know into my into my right hand pocket so these are always carried on my left side and i always carry any of the actual fixed blades i carry them on my left side but they're still in the right hand position so whenever i can pull it out it's just like this blade in first right ready to ready to defend yourself right so all of these Look like right hand carry, but I carry them on the left side. So when I pull it out, you know, it's it's ready to go in a in a fighting stance, right? So uh so all these blades here, even the, the Gerber Slim Sada, it is sure it's it's uh the blade is almost as thick. But the length on the on the cutting edge is very close. It's it's close. I'll, I will carry this just because this blade is you know larger larger than my than my, any of my Leathermans, right? The only blade here that I carry 
that is the same length as my Leatherman's is this one. This is the Watchman in 14C28N. It's the Azula knockoff, right? You can see here, the blade is almost, I mean, the same length, but you still have so much more broad, you got a broader blade and a, and a full tang knife, right? So you have a lot more strength with that than you do, you know, than you would have with one of these. So, and another thing, I love the feel of this knife. I, I, I just love it. It's, it's, it is awesome. I, I, I really, I really dig this knife. The handle scales, they are horrendous. Uh, I, I know I've seen other YouTube videos. I saw another YouTube video where, where a guy, uh, he stained these handles black and you know, that looked pretty cool. Uh, but I'm not going to go to the trouble of doing anything to them. They are what they are. But, uh, but I do, I do love this little knife. So, so it gets into rotation, even though it's a little small. Uh, like I said, this little guy here probably will never be in the rotation. We'll just actually fold it up, set it aside. Uh, the, all these blades here, my buck 110, it will always get carried in this sheath, right? That, that's the plain sheath that I have. You know, fast deploying sheath. So, wham, there we go. Okay, it always gets carried in that. Now, if I have the option, since I always carry these on my left side, like this uh, Rat 1, Ontario Rat 1, Aussate Steel, great knife. Absolutely great knife. I mean, they are they're great. They, they really are. Uh all state steel, I'm planning on getting another one of these in D2. Right now, this Gerber Slim Sada is the only thing I have that's in D2. But it's a great knife. It really is. Uh, so anyway, if I can change the clip around, the pocket clip, if I can change it around where it clips tip up in my left pocket, then that's the way I like, oops, then that's the way I like to carry it. You know, tip up in the left pocket. So... And now, like on this buck, this buck bantam, I cannot move the clip on it. It is where it is. So guess what? It gets carried tip down on my left side and backwards. I know, it's a pain in the butt. But, you know, that, that's where I carry it because my Leathermans are always in the right pocket. Okay? Uh, the Finwolf. Finwolf. Man, that's a great knife, too. All eight steel. I carry it tip up left side, right? Because I was able to change it over. So those two are the two that I can actually carry the way I really, really want to. Now this one's tip up. So when I'm carrying it, it's, it's you know, the wrong way, but at least it's tip up. This one is tip down. This one is always, get, always gets carried in this sheath. Uh, I do have a new knife to the collection, the Civivi uh, Storm Ridge. It's in, what is it in? VG? No. What is it? I can't remember the blade steel. I cannot remember the blade steel. It has G10 handle scales and I can't remember the steel. It's different. I know that. But man, this thing is awesome. It feels great. It's got a little bit of jipping behind it and in front, you know, of the scales. It's got jipping here and down here and up here. Just fits my hand. Got a little glass breaker on the end. This thing came hair popping sharp. I mean, it is sharp. Very sharp. Uh, Nitro V Steel. That's what it is. Nitro V Steel. And then we have the Stalhern. I think that's the way you pronounce it. In Aus 8. Uh, these these are my two newest fixed blades. Uh, this one, a lot more heavy duty. A lot more heavy duty. So if I'm actually going to be uh, outside carrying and, and maybe maybe out in the woods, and but I still don't want a knife out where, it, where everybody in their world, you know, in the, and their brother can see it, then I'll carry one of these two because of the way the sheets are made. Uh, but if I'm just normal EDC carrying in town, 
it'll be it'll be this one or this one or this one all three of these are more slicey than these two would be uh, now another thing I wanted to get to here uh, I talked about the tech clips right okay the tech clip that came on the new Civivi it is Civivi's own style of clip there's a little screw right here that you can loosen and then the, your bar inside of here slides up and down so you can literally adjust this to the exact width that you want for your belt which is awesome these Civivi clips I think they beat the heck out of your regular tech clips <clears throat> because these <coughs> excuse me these you have to pop that thing out right you have to pop these things out and and you, you either have this hole that hole or that hole right so so sometimes you might you know even if it's in the right spot it still could be a little looser than what you want right to where with with this one with that adjustment screw man you can put it exactly where you want it so it doesn't you know tip back and forth on your belt at all that is a great great clip that is an awesome one so and this one here that came with this little knife it's a it's a great one it's a good one it's one of those smaller ones you know it's not as wide it's it's okay but it still works the same way it, it has the different notches that you that you would uh you know adjust it for so therefore it could be a little tight could be a little loose uh okay now what i did to this thing anyone who owns this knife or anybody who's watched any of my other videos on it this little knife this this little clip that's on here sucks okay it's supposed to rotate okay so last night i took some super glue to this thing i rotated it to where it would be in in the uh scout carry position right i rotated it that way and it has these little little bitty notches inside of there you probably can't see them but when I rotate it, then it exposes those notches. So I put a bead of super glue across the top of those notches and across the bottom of them. Then, as soon as I put the super glue on, I rotated it in the straight up and down position. All right, so now it is glued and it can't move around on my body, okay? It can't, it can't move. It's straight up and down, and that's the, way I, that's the way I carry, you know, all my fixed blade knives, all my belt is straight up and down, so that fixed one problem okay the other problem was is that this clip from the top up here to here is so wide that it would still rack back and forth on my belt right so i took a little piece of leather you can probably see it i took a small piece of leather and i put it right here and i put a zip tie through there and zip tied it down tight but before i put the zip tie on I took the rough side of that piece of leather, put a little bit of super glue on it, okay? Put a little super glue on it, slid it in there, and just glued it to the back side, or which would be the knife side of this plastic, okay? This side, this side down here, not this side up here. And I just glued it in there. So that way my belt can't go up any higher, and it makes it ride approximately, I don't know, maybe, maybe close to half an inch higher, a little over a quarter inch higher. And then that is the exact width of my belt from here to here instead of the full width here and then letting it rack back and forth. So now when I slide it on my belt, it stays straight. It stays straight. It stays straight up and down on my belt just like I want it. It stays straight. There's none of this trying to find your knife handle because it's either tipped this way or that way, right? It's straight. In my opinion, if you're going to carry a fixed blade, on your person and you're going to carry it every day it needs to be just like your handgun okay when you whenever i stick my handgun on my left side or in my right side when i stick my holster on that on this side it is it stays you know 90 percent the exact same position all the time so when you go to grab 
to grab that handgun, it's, it is in the same spot when you go to grab it, okay? I think a fixed blade needs to be the same way. You know, if you, if you get in a position where you need to grab your knife quick, you need to know exactly where that is on your side. You can't be reaching, reaching up here or reaching way back here because the damn thing slid back like this and you can't even get to the handle, right? It needs to be in the exact same spot every time you go to reach for it. That's my opinion. It just makes things easier. You're not, you know, if you have to go for it, you know right where it's at instead of having to hunt for it, you know, before you can grab it. That, that's, that's just me. But anyway, a couple of little fixes that I did for this clip just to make it better for me. Uh, you know, if you like horizontal carry and you think this knife works great horizontal carry, then you could do the same thing that way too. You know, you could, you could turn it to horizontal carry and drop some glue in there so it stays that way because this clip being able to rotate is a nice idea, but that's all it is, is a nice idea. It sucks because because it's always moving. It's never it's never in the same place. Every time I would go to reach for this knife, it would either be canned forward, canned backward, or it'd be all the way horizontal, you know, like scout carry, but it would be on my side, you know? So, I don't know. I just hated the, I hated that clip, but I think with the glue and a little piece of leather, I'm pretty sure, you know, I carried it all, all afternoon yesterday like that, and it was nice because every time I, I went to grab it, it was in the exact same spot. So anyway, that's just a little fix for this knife. If you end up buying this knife, you know, it's it's just a quick a quick fix. Glue a little piece of leather in there so that way it rides higher and it stays tight on your belt. Glue the glue the clip so it can't rotate. Yeah, it, it, it just works so much better. So <clears throat> that's it. I just wanted to show off my new Civivi knife and talk about the fixed blades that I carry. I have 10 different blades here that I could be carrying at, at any given day. You know, any given day just depends on, depends on how it hits me. It'll be one of these five folding knives, one of these five fixed blades. And like I said, all of these are as big as a Leatherman blade or bigger. They're all bigger than a leather, Leatherman blade, except for this one, of course. But anyway, that's all I got. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about EDC knives and how I carry them and why I carry what I carry, you know? I, I am not gonna go, I'm gonna try my best to not ever go one day without a Leatherman. I mean, they're so handy. I always have a Leatherman all the time, but I have found the time that I really need something heavier than just my Leatherman. You know what I mean? So in that case, and you know, that that's, that's what I got. I got my pistol on this side, my Leatherman on this side, and I've got my fixed blade order folder on this side. And in this pocket, in this pocket, I can actually show you right now. I've got a flashlight. I've always got a flashlight, always. And I've always got a lighter wrapped in some Gorilla Tape. You know, that's 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 the everyday thing. My my handgun, an extra magazine, the a leatherman of some sort, my phone, my wallet, a handkerchief, this, this, and a can of red seal, of course. Red seal. But anyway, this is a Streamlight Micro Stream. This is the tactical model they call it because it comes on bright first and then dim second. If you buy the black model, it comes on dim first and then bright second. Uh, I have the black model and this tactical model and I've got the uh, Streamlight Polytech. It is a great, great light. Uh, and I've also got the macro stream not micro but macro stream and uh i can't remember which one comes on first on it if it's bright comes first and then dim i don't remember the macro stream it's a little bigger than this a little bigger than these but man it's a great light too uh i may do a video on my flashlights i don't have a whole lot but but uh i do like streamlight and every one of the streamlights that i have they are rechargeable i like the I just like the rechargeable. I like to be able to just plug it in one, you know, when I go to bed, if it's dead, I can plug it in, 
unplug it the next morning, put it in my pocket, go. I, I, I never leave the house without a lighter, a flashlight, a knife, and a handgun. That's, you know, that's, that's just, that's just me, you know. My wife, she looks at me every day and she says, why in the world do you carry all that? But then she'll be the first one. Hey, let me see your scissors on your Leatherman. Or, hey, let me see a knife, you know. I just, I just like to be that guy, you know, that, you know, that guy that everybody goes to, 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 uh, to get something done <laughs> because they know that you've probably got something that they need at the moment. So I don't know. I, I've always just liked to be that guy. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here and, uh, you guys take it easy, be careful and, uh, if I can get this stupid clicker to work, we'll uh we'll do something else next time. Alright, see you guys.